Tony Stark was able to make this in a cave! Out of a box of scraps! Ah, here it is. Let's see what's in here. Yep, looks pretty good. Let's see what we've got. Right, what's in the box? So, what's that? Solar lights. Another solar light. Some strainers for the kitchen sink. Some wire, and I've got plenty more things like that. One of these lights with a magnet in the back. I think those pieces go with the solar light. Some plastic cups. And some pins. So let's see what we can do with that. All right, so I've cut the middle out of the thing that all those pins were stuck in. And I'm gonna use one of these strainers and basically this seems to be quite a good fit on there. Actually has exactly the same contours, helpfully. So that's probably gonna be on there. Um, I've got some of this aluminium mesh as well for repairing cars and things, because if we have a look at the arc reactor in the actual film, it's basically a mesh in the middle, so I'm gonna cut a small section of that to go in between. That's gonna go on there. Um, so what else have we got? This thing here, which is a solar decking light, it's got a quite a nice back on it. So that thing is probably gonna be the back of the arc reactor. Um, it's something like that in the film, but with lots of wires coming um, back to a centre point where the cable runs out. And then this other solar light, let's put the camera down. This thing on, comes off the back here. Um, so that I think is where the wire is going to come out of the back. And this piece helpfully fits inside. So all together, we're going to end up something it's almost ready-made, really, from just off-the-shelf parts. So I just need to find something to make a translucent uh, circle around the outside, which all the, the wires are on, and um, solder some wires to it and put a light in somewhere, um, and then we'll see what it looks like. So I've cut up some plastic cups. All of these, they're just cheap plastic sort of cups that you'd have at a barbecue or something. And all I'm left with is the rims from them. These are 500 mil ones half a litre, so I've got two of those that I've put inside each other, you could use more of them, I might use another one, haven't really decided, one's a fit inside the other, there we go, um, so basically what's going to happen is one of these lights, this thing's going to sit on top, Just turn that on, and then the rings will be around the outside there, Probably get rid of the blue casing from that. Haven't really decided. I might spray it silver. Certainly that white piece needs to be sprayed black, I think. Um, and then basically all around the outside will be some, probably bits I'm gonna strip out of some electric motors. Um, in the film they look like copper coils on some ferrite, which are presumably supposed to um, guide electrons shooting around like a tokamak. But anyway, we'll have a look in the electronic spares box and see what I can find next. So basically what I've done uh, to stick around the outside there, I've used some empty chip holders, which are these dual in-line sockets, which basically you solder to the board and then you sort of stick the chip into the socket, which means you can change it more easily and also you don't heat up the chip while you're soldering. So these are incredibly cheap just because they're bits of plastic. Get them in any electronic store. These are 18 pin dual in-line holders. You can get different sizes, shorter, longer and fatter and so on for different uh, styles of chips. And the other great thing is that they've got these uh, metal contacts on so I can solder wires to link them together or at least they've actually got sockets where you can push wires in um, which will make it a bit more like the one in the film. So also need to wrap some copper wire around them um, and that's about it. So let me do that and we'll see where we've got to. Right, so there's all those little links soldered up all the way around. I've just started stripping the insulation off some of this wire. 
so that's going to get wrapped around the other way um, on every single one of those. So I've wrapped that wire around, so it's wrapped all the way around and I've stuck another the top of a plastic cup on the bottom just to hold all the wires so they don't become unwrapped. Um, I've also painted this thing black and stuck the aluminium mesh on the back side. So uh, now I just need to put all those pieces together and put the back together and we're pretty much done I think. So here it is all together, I've got the uh, battery mounted externally. So uh, I've got those wires wrapped round, I've got um, the link soldered on, I've obviously got the um, middle piece mounted which was one of those sink strainers and the thing from the pins with some aluminium grill in the middle. Um, it's all mounted on the plastic thing from the solar light. Got some wires at the back there. Let's just turn that back on, which uh, are made of wire coat hanger wires. And the thing inside from the garden light. Um, a nice cap on the bottom there, which was made from the lens from the light that's inside, which I've actually stripped, you know, stripped the LEDs out of the house and then put those inside. And I've just put a band of foam around there to hide the. Uh, ends of the wire where it was a bit of a glue mess and um, obviously the ends of the copper wire that's wrapped around as well so I'll be putting some pictures on my website in the usual place the link is in the description and we'll just have a bit more film of that in the dark and then that will be it